Hey everyone, Channel Futures Editorial Director Craig Galbraith here, getting really excited for the Channel Partners Conference and Expo and co-located MSP Summit coming up November 1st through the 4th in Las Vegas. Pleased to be joined today by Jasmina Muller. Jasmina is the Vice President of Global Channel Partnerships at Everbridge. Jasmina, how are you? I'm doing great, Craig. How are you doing? I'm glad to be here too. I'm Thank fantastic. I'm, I'm getting excited. I want to talk to you today about to Everbridge's bread and butter, which is critical event management technology. Why don't you tell our audience how it can protect organizations from increasing threats out there? So very easy, actually. Everbridge's mission, which everybody has probably seen on my posts, is to keep people safe and organizations running faster. Um, we literally help organizations and governments protect those things that they care about. Um, and that could be anything literally from people, assets, supply chains, and just so many other ways. But from the things that they worry about, I think a lot of uh, organizations nowadays are looking at like cyber attacks, IT outages, severe weather, which we've seen quite a few, um, and then the one and only, the pandemic that we've gone through. And there's so much more. But overall, um, you know, we provide our critical event management, which we call CEM uh, software applications that literally take that manual process, we automate it, accelerate the organization's operational response to those critical events. Um, and like I said, we define those critical events as anything that could cause a disruption to the organization, whether it's digital, man-made, or natural. Yeah, so does critical event management technology then present new opportunities for channel partners? And if so, maybe you can give some examples. Yes, we do. So, you know, over the years, we have literally broadened our capabilities to meet every uh, customer's life safety. Um, whether it's operational resilience, to, uh, supply chain, and IT alerting needs. So, for example, our CEM digital incident and cybersecurity use cases that we've had. Um, we protect those organizations' brand and reputation uh, while providing them the resiliency for their IT systems in such an increasingly virtual world. I mean, we all know we're remote now. Um, we're starting to slowly get back to work, but I think the massive growth um, in that digital service usage literally has empowered all these businesses while also opening them up to those new vulnerabilities and literally expanding that threat landscape. So I'm going to be discussing a lot more of this and other UK use cases in our session um, in Vegas. So I'm excited to see what we're going to do with that panel and kind of getting that real life experience around um, our technology itself. Yeah, I want to talk more about that here in just a minute. But uh, how can channel partners automate action to mitigate threats? So, you know, track progress and analyze performance uh, to improve future response? So our critical event management platform uses a technology that takes that manual process, like I was saying, and it automates them. Our CEM platform has over 450 out of the box pre-existing integrations, and literally over 25,000 risk data sources. So it's for literally for organizations to take that clarity, act faster, and then improve on those outcomes. We have a four-step process that we do that literally makes the customers kind of rethink what their important um, part of those assets are, whether, like I said, it's weather-related, active, ther uh, active um, uh, uh, terrorist attacks, protests, anything around that, that we can go ahead and make sure that they do properly the first time and not make the same mistakes you know, thereafter. So um, during like public safety threats, like I had mentioned, terrorist attacks, weather conditions, critical business events that can also include IT outages, the cyber attacks, um, product recalls even, supply chain interruptions, the platform quickly aggregates and assesses that threat data, it will locate those people at risk and possibly even responders that need that assistance. It'll automate the execution of that predefined communication process through the secure delivery, literally to over 100 different communication devices, and it tracks progress on executing those response plans. So it really comes down to who's opting in from the organization, whether they want an SMS text, whether they want a voice, or email, or it could be all three to receive any of that communication to make sure that those people are safe. Yeah, it's a crazy world out there. Plenty of opportunities for your, your partners in this area. So you mentioned the session that you're uh, going to be moderating on November 2nd. Uh, talk about what you hope attendees can learn and, and make use of and walk away from with uh, from that session. So I'm really excited about this session. The panel that we have is out of this world. I'm sure people will see but um, we've got a different panel to kind of give some of that 
background on what they currently do with their organizations and what they're going to do with their partners that will go ahead and also kind of tie in with what we do as a company. Um, we're looking forward to them to learn more about that critical event critical event management platform and how they can foster those enterprise re resiliency to confront both their current and future digital and physical critical events. It's going to be a great event, great session. Um, and again, it's going to be real world, real world experiences for them to understand how they can go in and, and get some use cases, get some an understanding on how they can qualify, get those opportunities to the table and understand how it works with everyone around here. Good stuff, Jasmina. Looking forward to that session and to seeing you at the Channel Partners Conference and Expo coming up uh, sooner than we know it. Yes, I'm excited to go get my homecoming dress. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for your time. Thank you.